Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to Bad Computer and Fusion 360. And the Swiss block we have in front of us, this is from a challenge I have posted earlier. Here is the drawing of it, with dimension and everything, and you're gonna have a close look at it in a short while. Let's check the properties, because I often ask people what is the volume, and the volume I've got was 14,183.8 and some more decimals. And I think most of you who have done this are close to that. And the, the desire is of course also to make it parametric. We're going to look at, at the final model. And uh, let's have a look at the drawing. There are not that many dimensions. It's five by five holes. So the dimension of the cube is driven by the number of holes. You can do other numbers. I just did five here. But the diameter of the hole is 6.5. Dimension from tangent point of circle to edge or the left over material is two. It's similar all the way around, and it's one millimeter between of a distance from tangent point to tangent point of holes. So with that information, we're gonna start a new design. I will not save now, but remember, start by saving. If you want to, you can create a new component and do stuff. I'm gonna start by creating parameters. I'm gonna drive this with parameters. You can do this in the sketch or any way you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to start with hole OD, or hole D, the diameter of a hole, that's what's 6.5. We're going to do another one, that's the distance. You can name the parameters with a little bit of a style you like. There are a lot of ways. Distance hole to hole, that was one millimeter. And the distance from side to hole was two what more do we have we had number of holes of course uh, number and this is important you have to change to no units and there are five of those so get somewhere uh, that's all of our input information we had and I will do some calculations here we can do it inside the sketch but sometimes it's cleaner to do some of them here we're gonna calculate the side of the cube and the side of a cube Let's have a drawing. Are, there are two of these on each side, and there are one, two, three, four, five. There's a number of holes multiplied by diameter, and then there are the spacing in between, and there's one less of those. So let's do that. We're going to do two times side distance from side to hole. That's four. That's good. We're going to do plus uh, number of holes multiplied by the diameter of a hole. And plus, we're going to do reduce by one, number of holes, minus one, multiply by the distance from hole to hole, like that. And we have a full nice equation here. And then you can do this other ways. This is just a way I like to do things. I like to group them so I can go back and look how I ended up where I am. And we're going to do one more distance. And that is the pattern. That's we live a distance from center of hole to center of hole. I'm going to use that rectangular pattern. And that is the diameter of the hole plus the distance from hole to hole, like that. By that, we have all the parameters we need. We're going to start doing some sketching. Uh, you can sketch it basically any direction you want. Uh, I like to connect things to the uh, origin point here down. So. We can do it so we're placing the region point in the center of the base of the cube. That can be nice. We're going to do like this. We're going to do a midpoint down to here. Of course, we need a square. So these two sides should be equal. We have a dimension here. That's going to be our side of the cube. We're going to do a hole. So we're going to do a hole somewhere here. Just do it like this. And this, of course, is our hole diameter like that. And now we're going to do some fun things. We're going to do an offset of this. And that's going to be our distance from side to hole, like that. Why did you do that? I'm going to turn this into construction geometry over here. And I'm going to tell Fusion this here is tangent to here, and this is tangent to here. Yes, I could also have used uh, dimensions twice. I'm going to move with dimensions. Oh, come on, come on, move with me. There you are, little mention. Yes, I could have mentioned the center point or tangent or other ways. This is sometimes a way I like to do things. I put the circle around so I know what I've done. 
So by doing that, we're going to finish the sketch. We're going to do our first extrude. I hit E on the keyboard. We're going to select everything in the well, the, the full profile, both the square, square and the hole. We're going to do it symmetric. We're going to do the whole length distance because that is the dimension we have, and that's going to be the side of the cube, like that. Yes, I have the uh, component color cycling on. If you wonder why it looks so strange, the colors. And that's step one. Step two, we're going to do another extrude, E once again. We want the circle in here, so we're going to hold down the mouse button until we can select profile. You just hold down the left mode button and this little menu pops up. This profile. Uh, once again, we should do it symmetric, so we get a distance. Yes, this. And uh, we can do this the same. This is the side of the cube. And Fusion is nicely enough to understand we want to cut away this. So yes, please, I want to cut that. Thank you. So now we've done one hole. We can now open up and check here. We have one body. We have one fully defined sketch. So we're going to have a sketch. I don't need it anymore. We're going to start by doing a rectangular pattern. We need to spread out this hole all over the side. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a feature. We're going to do this feature. We're going to do it in this direction and uh, this direction. So now we're going to do not extent, we're going to do spacing. That's how I set up the parameter. The quantity is number of holes. I'm going to tab over. This is our distance pattern. That is number of holes. And that is the distance of the pattern. Like that. Now the important thing, I'm going to keep a compute option to adjust. Adjust means that the Fusion will redo the extrude over and over and over. It's a bit harder because it is do a recalculation, but I'm going to do another pattern. That's why I wanted to do adjust. Because in this case, it cuts through a solid tube, but when we do it from the other faces, uh, it's going to cut through something that there's already uh, cuts from. So it gets a bit confused. I can't pattern faces and I can't do it identical. I prefer to do it adjust. Because we now done all the holes from one direction. I want to do it from the two others. How do we do that? We need an axle to do a circular pattern. So we're going to construct axis through two points. We're going to select this corner of the cube and this here. We're going to hit OK. We're going to S and do circular pattern. Yes, please. Components, no. We're going to do features. We're going to do our extrude feature and our rectangular pattern. We can see it colors up the correct parts. Uh, the axis, of course, are newly created little beautiful axis. And it happens to say four because I've done other things earlier here. We're going to change that to three. And once again, compute option is adjust so it redo. It reduce the uh, uh, extrude and it's recalculating the rectangular pattern. And I hit OK. And I wait for Fusion to do some thinking. And we can hide the axis for now. So. By doing that, I have a fully parametric model. So we can change, test now here. Change parameters. If you change to a really high number, it will take some time for Fusion to do the calculation. So we're going to nice the Fusion. We change me to free. Yes, we can do that. Can we change the, <coughs> sorry about that. Can we change the size of the holes? We do it eight millimeters. It updates. Can we change the distance? We just do it five millimeters in between. Yes, it updates. Let's do that back to one, and we can change the size also to five. So we can change all the parameters in any way we want. And that's a nice model. Let's go back to two. So this is our basic model. Let's see the drawing. And we can once again check the properties. It should be. Oh, yeah, there's something wrong here. I have to check my parameter. Modify. Change parameters. Oh no, oh, sorry, 6.5. I forgot to change the diameter back. It looked so nice. So by that, if we right click, properties. Now we have 14,183.8. Yeah, we are back. I thought that was a mistake. So with that said, uh, that's how I create the Swiss cube with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six steps in the timeline and fully parametric and a stable model. With that said, take care, see you around and goodbye.